Hello, I'm back. I know that in my previous video I implied I was going to avoid making politics related content for a while, but I couldn't ignore the responses to Labour's recent statement about cutting winter fuel payments for the majority of pensioners. They now claim this is necessary as there was no other viable ways to plug a £22 billion funding gap allegedly caused by the previous government. This is technically untrue as there are some ideas which could reduce the funding shortfall in a way that is fairer for everyone. Two mentioned in my previous video were to roll the winter fuel payment into the state pension before raising the tax threshold for those over 66 by £310 and then to amend MPs allowances as their salaries are far higher than pensioners income. Personally, I think it would be a good idea for the government as part of the budget to end the freezing of income tax allowances and amend the levels so that the basic income tax threshold is at least 2% above the state pension. This would support the most needy while providing savings for the government, especially if the system was simplified. I'd also consider reducing or even scrapping the subsidies for the MPs and Lord's bars and restaurants. Another problem is the apparent impression that, despite government denials, the reduction in winter fuel payments was made to fund higher than inflation pay deals for train drivers and junior doctors. Then there's the fact that the government, despite repeated calls to do so, refuses to publish evidence supporting their claims regarding the £22 billion black hole. Of course, they could also make more of an effort to ensure the rich and powerful, including multinational firms, pay their fair share of tax on income and profit generated here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to like and share. Also, let me know what you think in the comments section. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, and click the bell icon to be notified about new videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon.